All right, welcome back. We're gonna do another test today. Uh, last time I didn't really do a very thorough test um, between shark bite and the DJI goggles. Uh, we need to figure out, like, in terms of hey, yeah. So in terms of quality, um, they actually looked pretty close on that last video. Um, so the only issue I had in the last video was, well, both antenna sets are right next to each other. And DJI pretty much stomps on any video that isn't itself. So um, I need to figure out how to counter that. There's with the Cine, Cine Whoop here, this is the Shenzhou's geyser. Uh, there's really no great easy way to unplug my VTX for shark bites. So I've come up with kind of a solution. So what I plan to do in between tests, because I'm gonna do I'm gonna try to do a line with one system on, and then the next system I'm gonna turn off or try to Put some foil on it. I'm gonna reduce the power output of shark bite and wrap this aluminum foil around the antenna. Hopefully this can isolate the video enough to where it won't interfere with the DJI stuff at all. So that's the hope. Uh, we're gonna give that a shot. I'm gonna sit inside my house right here and I'm gonna go fly around my house. Um, I'll go fly away from my house a little ways. It's not gonna be a range test. Everyone wants a range test. I live in a suburban area. I'm not gonna go flying over everyone's house two miles out. It's just not happening. So what we can do is fly proximity. I can lower the milliwatts. I mean, I think this only goes to 200 milliwatt minimum. So I think we'll just have to do 200, but you'll get a good sense of what it is. Let's go buzz around the yard for a little bit. All right, we're all set. I am in the 4.3 cut mode. This offers the best output for shark bite. It will be 16.9. Um, if I go 4.3 scaler, it puts the bars on top and bottom and makes it look a little weird. So. I'm sacrificing my flight experience for your pleasure, viewing pleasure. So let's get going. Okay, we're on 200 milliwatts. Go fly around here for a little bit. Just snowed here in Minnesota. Pretty awesome. And it's cold outside. That is why I'm not outside. Way too cold. There we go. Oh, man, the colors are a little ridiculous right now. Hopefully it doesn't show up that way in the DVR. I played with the settings to see if I can make it better, but it looks like I made it worse. Uh, I upped the color gain, mistakenly, needs to go down. So maybe we'll play with that in a minute. We'll just come out here. Just fly nice and slow and low. I have like no camera angle on this, so I have to fly slow. Oh, and there's wind clearly getting pushed all around. Alright, so let's do a penetra penetration test. Right back here usually gets pretty bad. I don't know if it's the fences or what. Yep, yeah. oh, made it through, it wasn't bad. I don't know, some of you guys might like that extra color pop. Helps with race gates. I can identify any colors very quickly. Go back over here again. Not bad. 200 milliwatts is pretty darn good. Very little breakup. Very good detail too. Kind of a far away shot. Let's see what it looks like from a distance. Snow on my deck. Kids toys everywhere. Yeah. The cold really affected my battery. Yeah, so there's that. Um, I think I'm gonna play with the color gain a little bit quick here. See if I can't make it a little more natural looking. All right, we gotta turn that color gain down, I think. It's just too darn much. We'll try 110. 
I turned sharpness down already. It was way too high before. Um, I don't know. A couple clicks down on contrast, maybe. Let's see if that's any better here. Okay. Exit. And save all. It looks a little better, like a little less, yeah, a little less crazy, yeah, that's better. We'll do a little more flying around here, I got some more battery left. Look at the fence here, you can see all the details on the chain link pretty good, the grass looks pretty good. pretty good wood chips I got a little snow over there for some contrast go around the back of here again yeah, looking pretty good all right let's go over to DJI and we'll see what we can see what difference it is all right we're recording on uh, DJI now uh, 25 megabits per second, low latency mode, and I tried matching the colors as best I can. Also 200 milliwatts, so let's see how it does. Rex, you okay? My dog loves the drone. In fact, he hates it so much he loves to just chase it around the yard, try to wreck it. So yeah, it's not picking up grass very good at all. Uh, reception's terrible over here. I don't know. Let's go this way once. Hey, you notice like it's very splotchy on the grass. Close up, really good. Like looking through a GoPro. Looking at the grass kind of far out. I watched a Barbell's video too and it was like that. Um, let's see how bad it is behind the house. Let's Looks like Shark Bite's kind of winning as far as overall quality goes. Um, I don't know. No difference really over there. But yeah, you definitely notice the splotchiness. I didn't really notice it yesterday because I was flying Shark Bite the whole time. And I have no idea what my battery's at, so I'll have to kind of be conservative here. But yeah, low latency mode, 25 megabits per second. And this channel, this channel seems okay, but yeah, we're just getting a lot of... We're getting a lot of blockiness out of this. I don't know what the deal is. So let's bring her back. I'm gonna try a different mode on this. I'm gonna try the high quality mode. So we just did that test with the low latency mode. The quality was just not there. Um, I could see way more detail with Shark Bite. So we're in high quality mode and it's very close to the same. So we're gonna run high quality mode again. Well, again, because I forgot to record. So here we go. Now you guys can see what it looks like. All right, so the video or the audio on that uh, of me flying was not good. My dog was whining the whole time and my kids were being super annoying. So here we are, we're flying DJI. Um, we're on the high quality mode. After looking at it in post, it's really good. Really good. Um, I can't even... I don't know. In the goggles, you can see all right, right here, right here. Like it's super splotchy. I don't know what it was with that area. I don't know if it was the darkness, and the video couldn't just keep up or what. But either way, um, it was pretty good. Right here, Shark Bite had a ton of uh, well, not a ton, but it had breakup. DJI is not having like any breakups, which that's pretty good. Um, in comparison, I think low latency is probably more comparable than this. This to me looks insanely good. Um, yeah, yeah, so going around the car here, kind of see, it honestly looks like a GoPro to me as I'm looking at it in post right now while I'm recording. Um, here's the chain link fence, looks pretty darn good, you can see everything kind of nice and detailed. Um, yeah, I mean, honestly, overall quality, this is like, I don't know how you could get much better, much better to be honest. Um, 
like way far out you can really see the details of all the houses um, in front of you is very good on the road you can see down the street way down there both ways uh, I think it's very very good so yeah hear me I'll just fly around you guys can kind of make your own assumptions on it um, you don't have to hear me blab about it the whole time so yeah I'll turn some music on you guys can kind of make your own opinions on it okay wait one more thing I gotta point out here is like just look at the cars back there you can see that garbage truck clear as day um, that was really good I enjoy kind of looking far out as I'm flying FPV um, and I do want to note this is the 200 or this is the 25 megabytes per second um, and there's low latency mode which is lower latency at 20 milliseconds and then or yeah is that what it is yeah whatever either way the frame rate <laughs> um, low latency gives you around 20 and the high quality is high latency mode which gives you around 40 but it gives you better quality all around um, but it's still 25 megabits per second 50 megabits per second I'll have a clip of that coming up here but yeah this is still 25 megabits per second <laughs> It's, you guys, it's, it's awesome. It's give and take on both systems. I can't, I can't tell you to pick one, but for me, I think the DJI is just a little better just because I think the camera is better. But this is a pretty darn good camera for what it is. I'm enjoying it a lot. Like it's, it's fun. It's fun flying around with this. I feel very confident in my, in my flight path. So that's nice. I mean, honestly, I don't know, you guys, it's a toss up. It really is. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'm gonna keep flying around and we'll see you guys next time.